Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a sweet little minute, almost a year I feel. It's been quite a while since I've sat down in front of my proper lighting to edit and film and just do properly a video for you guys. Today's video is all about trying out these makeup brushes, which are from Glamour Empire. They are a makeup store here in Tamworth, where I'm located now in Australia, New South Wales. And I applied my entire face with them today and they are a lot cheaper than some of the brands that I normally use and they work exactly the same. So today's video is a little bit of a comparison. So after trying these, I can say that they stand up against Fenty Beauty and some of their brushes are like $30, $40 a brush. Who else do I have here? I've got the Kat Von D set. I've got the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow brush and this is a lash fan brush by Sigma. So I've got some really like expensive high-end brand brushes and it's good to compare those really expensive brushes to ones that are really affordable. And what's exciting is that they perform the same way. They're vegan friendly as well. They haven't shed. I've been using these for about six months now. And they have not shed. I've washed them several times, which is really good. So this video is in collaboration with Glamour Empire. Again, they are a makeup shop here in Tamworth. The store is run by two beautiful sisters. They have an online store as well. They ship internationally. So if you're new to makeup and you don't want to spend a whole heap of money on some really high-end brushes, or you're kind of buying one at a time, but you need like an entire set, or if you just need new brushes, I always need new brushes. One set is never enough. You always need like six eyeshadow brushes because like who wants to wash them like once a week? I also thought I'd give you a different view of my house so instead of just filming in a plain background or in my bedroom we are in front of the pool today so just before we get into the video the glamour empire have a 25 percent off discount code going for black friday so check that out you could if you watch the video and you decide you want some of the brushes the set of brushes is a lot cheaper so to add the 25 percent on top of that would just be a fucking bargain so and you get the travel case which you need so go and check that out i also have a black friday sale on as well including pre-orders on my website i've got 35 percent off at the moment which is insane so thank you to everyone that's jumped on there and ordered something from me so let's get into it okay let's get some foundation on i feel exposed i cannot wait for this year to be over actually <laughs> 2020 has just been insane so i'm using mark jacobs foundation i find this one a little heavy i usually mix it with um foundation but i figure i should probably do it proper bed of foundation to test out the brushes. Okay, so this is the one they recommend for a foundation. It's not the usual shape that I would use for a foundation brush, but um, Susie, one of the owners, recommended it and said they've just been really enjoying um, applying the foundation with the, the flat tip, I guess. So. Oh, don't you hate it when you've still got mascara on your face? That's going on really smoothly. I, I think stifling is the word where you kind of like pat it on. Um, it's kind of like buffing the foundation in. It's kind of doing two steps in one. Okay, Susie just messaged me actually as I'm filming this video and said it is a lot cheaper to buy the set. So if you end up considering um, to purchase some of these brushes, do it in the set and then you get the case and it'll keep it nice and clean. And something that I really enjoy in having a case is like, I travel a lot now. Um, and I like having something to put my actual brushes in rather than just like a big ass makeup case and dumping everything in it because they get dirty. Um, so yeah, it's a good idea. You can kind of wrap them up and keep them clean and put them in your cute little luggage case. This is so random as well, but if you're looking for cute luggage, I bought some, fuck, 10 years ago now by Kate Hill. It's a black patent snake skin faux, obviously, um, set. It's And it's like pull along, looks classy as fuck, so check out that website. Okay, well look, uh, damn, I'm in like a lot of natural lighting here. And that looks really fucking good. I would usually use like a, what are these called? Kabuki brush? I don't want to say if I'm saying it wrong. Um, but I don't need to. So, that's worked really well. DMT 412VS slash 30. That's why I'm not going to say the names. They're really long. I'll put it in the description below. There is a brush specifically for concealer, but I've, I for the life of me cannot find it. So we're going to improvise. Improvising is a really good life hack. You know, like look at fucking 2020. <laughs> 
you've had to improvise, you've just had to, otherwise you're probably dead. Um, so, you know, go with the flow and just fake it until you make it. <laughs> so yeah, all the brushes on their websites are actually named if you want to This is why you don't use a brush that already has eyeshadow on it. Have I just <laughs> made my eye dark? Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna use a foundation brush. Just box that out. This is a professional video. Oh god, I need eyebrows. I need my eyebrows. Okay, that worked well. <laughs> okay, now this big one is for a loose powder. <laughs> if you <don't laughs> If that doesn't happen, you're not putting enough on. It doesn't help that the air conditioner is right there. It's just blowing it into my face. God, it's almost like I've forgotten how to do this. <laughs> I'm sorry if I look really backwards. Like, this is the first time I've put makeup on. Now, another really handy product to have in your makeup kit is... Is the liquid that can be a lifesaver if your eyeliner has gone a little hard. Or if you want to turn eyeshadows into liquid eyeshadows. Now, this one is by... Inglot Duraline and it's not cheap, but Glamour Empire sell one and it's like $8.99, it's super cheap. So if you're interested in trying that out or you have old eyeliners, again, like I said, that you just can't use anymore, that works fabulously. So the idea is with this is that you just add a little bit onto the brush and then you press it into any shade that is metallic and then you press it onto the eyelid and then it turns it into like a liquid eyeshadow. Um, works best with metallics. <laughs> So I'm about to do my eyebrows now, and I find I just need it all the time. So I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade, that right there, in the shade Granite. But it just dries out, like it's full, it's completely full. And if not for the liquid, it would be insanely hard to use. So um, I've had this bottle for easily a year, and it's still so completely full. Little things like that, it wasn't until I started watching YouTube videos, I'm like, holy shit, they make something? Like, I think it was actually Susie that, I'm like, I, the, the, the penny dropped, I'm like, that's how they do it! I didn't know there was another step involved, I just put the metallic eyeshadows on my lid, I might use like primer, or sometimes I use concealer, that's what I've done today, as a primer. I'm like, I didn't know, there was a lip, I didn't know! <laughs> so, hopefully I save you a lot of pain. Oh, opening things like this with nails is just a nightmare. This is the eyebrow brush duo or eyeliner. It actually says eyeliner. I'm going to use it for my eyebrows. You could use it for both, which I might do. DMT DE03. Oh my gosh, that hurts my eyes. Nice crisp edge, which is what you want when you're doing eyeliner and eyebrows. Okay, I'm not going to talk during this because like, we'll be here all fucking day. So. It's possible with this shit. So I dip it into the liquid first and then I put it into the, the brow gel. Okay, approximately 20 hours later. <laughs> Brows are done. Okay, I'm gonna go and step in with contour now. I currently use Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer in the shade Bait. My good friend Mahafsoon, who I did the purple handbag collaboration with, um, put me onto this when we went to Sephora together in America, and I love it. So much so that I bought two. I never think I will <laughs> uh, ever use this one. Like It's lasted forever. I've had it for two years now and I'm still using it. Um, and to blend it out, I'm going to use the Contour Blender Cream. I've actually been using this um, as a loose powder brush because I find the one that they say to use for powder is not stiff enough. Um, this one's definitely more compact and when and it's smaller as well because I have a small face, so it just it seems to work better. Um, <laughs> But I will try it for you guys in the appropriate way. That's the beauty of um, brushes as well. You don't have to use them. Like, it's not a rule. It's not like you're going to get in fucking trouble if you use, like, this for contour instead of um, loose powder, you know? Just go with what works for you in your face shape.
Okay, that worked perfectly, blended out really well, no troubles at all. Something I don't know if I want to share with you, because it's a little weird for me, is that I've been using blush to brighten up the face. Like, it's totally a new fucking thing for me. You know, rosy up the cheeks a little. Look at this, isn't this gorgeous? Anyway, the video is not about this brush, but it's so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna do a pinky brown kind of look, and this is with the Model Rock palette that you can also pick up from Glamour Empire. 25% off this week. The colors are really beautiful. And I'm going to do the liquid eyeshadow trick with that one there, Vintage Rust, which is, which is one of the metallic shades. Okay, so now I'm using one that just looks like a crease blending brush. DMT 400 BT Dash <laughs> 5. I said I wasn't going to do that, but here I am. And I'm just going to go over that, but I'm blending it out a little bit as well. Um, seeing this brush isn't wet. That would be a good way to do that. You don't want to blend upwards with a brush that you've just put liquid on. That's not going to work. So now I'm just going to take this lighter color, Poppy, the top one. Oh, I feel like I should have gone with the blues. It's so beautiful. I'm just blending up and out. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm not one of those people that sits down with a plan for their makeup. I'm usually always wearing red lips now these days. Because that's just my thing. So now I'm just going to use another clean brush with the lightest color, which is called Fair Maiden. I really prefer a white in a palette to you know, go above the brow, but we can use highlight with that. I can work with that. Not quite light enough. Yeah, that's actually darker than my skin color. And we'll just pop highlight on it. To make there is a specific brush for highlight. 463B08. Again, guys, you can just buy the whole pack. That would be the easiest thing to do and then just go with what feels right. But I do understand if you're like just starting out with makeup, it is very helpful to have someone specifically say, this brush is for this. Um, I'm not at that point anymore, so I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to wing it and not really wing it, but like just by looking at the brush, I can tell what I need um, or what I think that tool would be good for. If you're not at that point, I suppose I should consider that not everyone is. Um, it would be really handy. So now I'm going to go in with a darker shade Warrior and just go into the crease. Warrior! Again, I'm using the same crease brush that I used before, just... I mix my brushes with different colors, I think that's fine. I mean, they're similar anyway, it's like... Doesn't matter. Okay, the last brush I'm going to use on my eyes before we head to eyeliner is... Flatline Define DMT 403T. And I'm just going to take some of that same dark warrior color. So that has a really nice fine tip to it, I'm enjoying that brush. And you want that if you want a very defined line underneath the eye of them. Okay, I will be right back. I'm just going to pop some lashes on. Okay, lashes are on. Now I'm going to try the same brush that I use for the eyebrows for the eyeliner. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. That gave me a really crisp line. I can't see any difference between that brush and the like $40 Anastasia Beverly Hills one. Like in terms of how they actually applied the makeup. So again, if you're looking for brushes on a budget, you've come to the right video. Okay, um, I just need to take off what's on my lips and put on this beautiful, look at this color. What is it called? Atomic Blonde. Beautiful, like fuchsia hot pink. It's just insanely vibrant. Okay, I'm pretty much done. I'm going to go and put on something cute, come back and film the beginning of the video, which is so fucking backwards, but whatever, that's how you do it. <laughs> I'll be right back. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's been a little while since I've been on camera. I've been very busy with my music. A lot, a lot, a lot went down at 
towards the end of 2019, uh, 2020, if you follow me on Instagram, which you should if you don't already, um, you would have noticed a lot of changes within um, within me and within my personal life. And uh, yeah, it's been full on at times. I've had to step back a little bit, but I'm getting back into it now. I'm just about to release a new handbag set, fluoro green like my nails. <laughs> I love fluoro green. I've got t-shirts coming out. I've designed a pair of high heels, which is going to be very exciting. I'm just waiting for the sample of that to arrive. So creative juices are flowing. I'm going to start up a Spotify account and officially release my music on there too. So once that's up, I would love if you guys can hop on over there i don't even know how it works yet but like add me and then i need to start a following blah 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 we'll figure it out the music i'm coming up with is it's good <laughs> it's good if you want to hear some of it little snippets of it are on my instagram stories as well make sure you add glamour empire on instagram and facebook as well and remember if you're australian to support local small businesses it's great to head on over to sephora but it's even better to buy some shit from a small company I know you guys are going to ask as well, both of my rings are from a Spanish brand called Uno de 50, like one of 50, one out of 50. Um, they're fucking gorgeous. They are so sparkly. They're not cheap, but damn. I get so many comments about um, this one. People are like, are it, is it an emerald? I'm like, motherfucker, do you <laughs> an emerald that size? Like, I, <laughs> I know I like fancy stuff, but I don't think I can afford an emerald. Anyway, I'm pleased that it looks like an emerald. I hope you're all doing really well and staying safe within this COVID, I want to say pandemic, but the word bullshit just comes to mind. So let's go with that. <laughs> and if you're feeling down, just go and buy some fucking makeup. That makes me happy. Makeup, shoes, clothing. They're my vices. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.